Hey guys, I hope you're doing good today. Okay, so there's some posts that I came across, and the first one I'm going to start with is on Balls 2.0's uh, page here on Instagram. I have her uh, link to Instagram permanently in my description, on my in my About section. So, people are just furious with their blah, sorry with their crystal ball. They they have had it with her. I mean, there's people coming out from all over the place that I've never even seen or heard of that are telling her to stop. They've had it with her and to stop trying to profit off this story with eight passengers. Look at this crap. So Katie actually takes a clip from this. From more stories. This is the niece of Jody. Okay, so listen to this. This is a short clip from Morm Stories podcast today interviewing Jesse Hildeprant, who was Jody's niece. Jody had custody of Jesse, and the abuse Jody inflicted upon Jesse is beyond disturbing. Jesse. She was forced to sleep on the belt, cold on in the out in the cold on a balcony. She's got to describe it, eh? She just has to do that. Jody believes that she has revelations from God and that her work is saving souls. Ruby Frankie's son was found. Okay, we got that. You've already fucking said that. Jesse said that when they escaped, they were in similar condition. Police did not believe Jesse. If you have a few hours, please watch this full interview. Jesse is so brave to share their story. What Jesse experienced is horrific and no child should ever endure. Ruby and Jody should be never be allowed of jail. Well, I agree with her story would be uh, obviously horrific. I don't agree with her mouth all over this. Like, look at this. Nini says, stop tagging Morm stories without a crystal ball. No one wants to work with you. Notice how you can send a gift? Means she's monetized the abuse story because Katie Joy is a trauma vulture. I absolutely agree. This one from Rabbit. She says, eight passengers Reddit is sharing Mormon stories and Jordan and McKay links like crazy. Well, with, without a crystal ball is banned. I'm sorry, Katie, but your past is finally catching up with you. No one really wants to work with you. Despite your huge subscriber numbers, your shitty behavior towards victims has left you a total joke. Sure, you make a ton of money, but your karma is affecting your life negatively in other ways, girl. Yep, I absolutely agree, Rabbit. So there's that. Now we're going to go over to... Reddit. This is disgusting. So I seen this and I also heard about this and people are talking about it on Twitter as well. And they're asking, why the hell does Katie Joy want to know where the Frankie children are? Why you ask? Because she's a disgusting piece of shit. She wants the scoop. She wants the story and she's trying to exploit them. It's disgusting. So they say, I saw somewhere on Twitter say that she's trying to find out where the kids are staying. Does anyone know if this is true? If it is, I'm sure she's doing to try to be the first to break the news. But she should leave them alone. They have a lot of healing to do from this. The whole world knows what happened. I hope she never finds out. I agree. But when she does, you're damn right she's going to blast it and say she's got the exclusive. You're fucking right she will. She is disgusting. She needs to go. Like, enough already. I'm so sick and tired of her bullshit. Like, there's so many comments here. Look at this. I sure, sure wouldn't put it past her. You know, she'll try to insert herself in this case somehow. You're goddamn right she would. Goddamn right. She already is pulling up or making all this cult crap up. And she's still going on hard and strong and making more up as she goes. This is what she's doing. She's already said in one of her latest videos that she reached out to Chad Frankie's roommate, according to Lama Girl on Twitter, who does short recaps. I don't give her any views anymore. I haven't watched her in years. Take one for the team. She is disgusting. I will not give you my money. Bitch ain't getting any of mine. Didn't she do the same thing with the Turpin kid? Yes, that son of a bitch did. She outed both Turpin girls on TikTok and told the whole world who they were on TikTok. Yes, she did. She's fucking disgusting and needs to go. She outed two of them who were on TikTok and they had to delete their accounts. Do you see this crap? You idiots and assholes who support her and troll for her need to go get fucking jobs and come to a reality check. This is bullshit. This is not okay. Do you all remember when she docked the safe house? She's a real piece of shit. Yes, I do. I remember everything she's done. It's disgusting. Yep, then went on to accuse the owner, operator of the, of the safe house of being in league with human traffickers because he was a man and a Mormon when she called out for putting those girls in more danger. Yep. 
What the actual fuck? She's absolutely unhinged. She should lose her platform for that. It might, she should have lost it years ago. But she's still ticking. It's not right. Actually, the Turpin kids said that it was as bad as living with their parents. They said it was an awful experience. Breaks my heart because people wanted to help them, but somehow they ended up there. Yeah. Yes, and KJ broadcasts one of the Turpin's daughter's real names on her YouTube channel and social media accounts. Yes, she did. We all need to stop this shit. It's got to go. She's got to go. This is scary. She should leave those kids alone. Let the authorities do their job. Exactly. She's actually telling people to come to her with new information. No, you go to the police. You go to the authorities. You don't go to Katie fucking Joy. Are you kidding me? <sighs> this is why she's dangerous. She tells people they're in protective custody and needs privacy, but will still go digging to find out where these kids are just to go on her IG love and tell everyone where they are. All she does is try to contact people, sending them message and emails nonstop until they answer her. This is all she's going to talk about for weeks because she gets a boner when there are child victims involved. She's disgusting. This chick is mentally deranged. You know what? That sounds like I wrote it and I didn't write it, but it sounds like I did. And that's crazy. I'm glad people are finally thinking like me. Their location is being protected for a fucking reason, you dumb bitch KJ. You're doing them great harm by trying to find out that now. And what and we all know that you will release it. Yes, she will. So if anything, people need to report this to the proper authorities and telling them that this piece of shit YouTuber thinks she's fucking God and that she's going to out these children. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why is everybody sitting around going, oh, yeah, that's just Katie. Oh, yeah. Well, then. no, it's time to do this now. Enough already. She's going to hurt these kids. Like, she already is by re so-called reporting on them. Always inserting herself and not respecting boundaries while claiming to be so understanding of various abuse. A victim slash survivor would never monetize off someone else's abuse if they are legit. But here she is, again, if true, trying to make cash off abuse of someone else. She is clueless and has zero boundaries. Yes, I agree. One thought that I couldn't shake CPS had done welfare checks on the Frankie's household and has come away with taking it without taking any action. Ruby herself has bragged about CPS not finding anything despite the checks recommended by others. But at that time, the kids were being traumatized by Ruby herself. On the same note, KJ also had CPS called on her by concerned people and bragged about how she came to her, how they came to her house and didn't find anything. So technically, KJ's bragging about CPS not finding anything is the same as Ruby's. CPS is incapable of doing right by those kids. You're absolutely right. I I'm so giving you clap after clap after clap after fucking clap because this needs to be seen. The last I had read, these kids were placed in foster care. I'm not super familiar with CPS. However, it feels like it would be some type of violation to out a foster family, especially if the kids were in some type of protective custody. Yes, it is. And that's what I'm trying to say. And if she gets her grimy little disgusting nod off fingers on information about where they are, she will blast it. She needs to be reported. God, if the kids were in some type of protective custody, it is absolutely disgusting what KJ is doing. I didn't think she would get any lower than what she did with the Gabby Petito case. You didn't? Oh, fuck, I sure did. But here we are. You can tell she is no type of mother, let alone parent, because if she were, she would leave this alone and those kids. What supposedly caring adult would basically dox kids coming out of an abuse situation? I don't know how this woman hasn't been taken off social media yet. Just waiting for the day for her to fuck with the wrong people and finally get what she deserves. Her platform's taken down. Yes. Would she do the dur during the da Gabby Petito case? Oh my God. Here, this one describes it. During the Gabby Petito case, she decided to look up the license plate of the laundry's vehicle, which she got wrong. She then published the name of who she thought was the registered owner, which was incorrect, along with the VIN number of the vehicle. Several of her followers then found the innocent woman's employer and address then posted it to Twitter. I saw this in real time on Twitter. That is when I Googled her and then found this up. Yeah, and she never gotten shit for that either. Why the fuck not? Why? Uh, these are just comments under that. She also said the cops or FBI came to her house because someone told them she was hiding Brian Laundry in her basement. Girl's a basket case. Yes, because it never happened. What happened was there was a phone call. Someone called in because of her fucking dogs. They would not stop barking. That's what that was about. She was never uh, swatted whatsoever. Not at all. Two police officers came to her house and told her, that the neighbors are getting pissed, but her dog's outside constantly barking and barking and barking. And then they mentioned, apparently, something about Brian Laundry being in her house, which I call bullshit, in her basement. No. She's such a liar. 
That is so unhinged, but I would not be all surprised if she is. Children are absolutely off limits and they're also the victims. I know. Imagine how she'd react if someone was looking for her kid. Yeah, exactly. If this is true, then she's not only an obsessive creep, but also more stupid than I give her credit for. If she finds out where minor abuse victims are, then she will have the police at her own door. They are vulnerable and in protective custody for a reason. Those children have experienced trauma on a massive level as well as it all being published on the inter inter international platform. For the first time in years, little children's safety is the main priority of many services and trying to interfere with this is beyond idiotic. Yeah, it is, but she's doing it. She did tell everyone to stay tuned. Miss investigative journalist is on the case. Yeah, she's more of a piece of shit liar who honestly deserves to be in fucking prison. I can't work out how she's not one, lost platform, two, not even prosecuted, three, not been successfully sued. I don't get it. I really don't. I don't, I don't get it. If she can't officially find her, then she will claim to have a source telling her information about the children. If she does that, I will contact the courts, CPS, and the cops and let them know KJ is allegedly speaking with someone that's giving her information about the children. KJ's, no, do it now. I would do it now. KJ, please make up one of your sources so you can get in trouble. Here, fuck this. I do it now. Yeah, I can't spell with these goddamn nails. Sorry, I'm really, really upset. Can't you tell? Asking for info on the kids and asking anyone who has been affected by the two women is basically involving yourself in an open investigation and could land you in some pretty hot water. Yet, let me guess, it won't for her. So let, let her face the consequences of her actions on this one. If the state has the kids, then trying to find out where they are could really put her in hot water. Yeah, but it never happens. <laughs> The social services or whatever departments need to be made aware she's doing that. Yes, they do. I just saw that public has been kicked. I just saw that the public has been kicked out of the Zoom court hearing due to technical issues from 1,000 people joining it. So KJ won't get to see anything good. Thank God for that. I shouldn't say that because I don't, I don't know what I believe. Sorry, I'm really angry. <laughs> Yeah, get this one. KJ is a real mom who stands in truth and doesn't exploit children, y'all. Here's the first post. These women who choose to abuse innocent children and made them believe it was their fault. <clears throat> the 911 call is so heartbreaking. Yeah, right. You probably got a boner off it like everything else. RF tells the man that helped him that he... Holy, why do you keep saying the same thing? We know. Jody Hildebrandt's niece revealed that Jody has been diagnosed with numerous severe mental illnesses and personality disorders, including psychopathy. Jody is alleged a psychopath. I think you are too, to be honest. People with antisocial personality disorders, I think you have that as well, are a danger to society because they lack remorse, have grandiose sense of self, and are prone to violence and criminal activity. That's exactly what I think you are. Healthline shares common traits of psychopaths, behavior that conflicts, and social norms. Why? Like, she's talking about herself here. Disregarding or violating the rights of others, inability to distinguish between right and wrong, that's you. Difficult with showing remorse or empathy, that's you. Tendency to lie often, that's you. Manipulating and hurting others, that's you. Reoccurring problems with the law, that's you. General disregard towards safety and responsibility, that's you. Expressing anger and arrogance on a regular basis, again, that's you. <laughs> Rudy. Sorry, I said it wrong. Ruby became a tool for Jody's quest for fame and power. She wanted Ruby's social media following. Ruby had already shown a propensity of being a neglectful and abusive mother before Jody. Jody exploited this in Ruby. Ruby's not perfect, but Jody's 100% the mastermind in this abuse. Neither woman should ever be free again. These are my opinions and the opinions of many other mothers who really stand the truth. The truth that the real moms don't abuse and exploit their children in the name of religion and fame. Exactly, a real mama truth. She's so dang exploitative and just downright vile. She really needs to leave the story alone. Yes. Sad. She has crossed the line way too many times. Doxing people, inserting herself into cases. Recently contacted one of the minor's colleagues, roommates, reporter. Nope. Other than a few nut jobs like her, most people watch her. Not unlike people watch Trainwreck. The others are purchased subscribers, or so a source says. Does she not get it that people despise her as much as they do Ruby and Jody, just like them? There are thousands of people that cannot wait until her day comes too. But for, not for abuse, but for crossing the line. I beg to differ. I think that there is some, yeah, never mind. There are a few things in the works in the next couple of months, and I am here for it. Yeah, so am I. Let's see what's more bullshit she's got going on. 
This is some bullshit. Disturbing quote from KJ. If you are someone who has been impacted by either Jody or Ruby, make sure to contact me. No. No. You go to the authorities. Call the police. You don't go to Katie Joy. The people that are, why? Go to the police. I'm assuming they aren't as stupid to go to Katie Joy, but you never know, right? Anyone impacted by Jody or Ruby should make sure to contact the proper authorities in this case. I have not, but that would be a no. It seems like law enforcement could get involved at this point. She's actively interfering in an open investigation. Yes, she is. The last thing anyone should do is have any contact with McBrows about anything. She will have all your info spread all over the place. KJ's so crazy, they should contact her. Contact the police. What a piece of shit. She needs to be arrested. There is a police investigation going, and she's just she is just a disgusting leech. Let her do it. Trust, trust me on this. Her days are numbered. I wouldn't even have said allegedly because they are. They are. TLC's coming for you. Oops. What else here? One more thing. She doesn't need to be anywhere near this hearing. Oh, this it was actually canceled. That's amazing. Katie, will you be watching the court hearing today and updating us? Yes. <laughs> no, you won't. Wonder how much time... Each day spends digging up financial and personal info to use in her reporting compared to caring for her own child. Uh, last I checked, it was, what, 16 plus hours? I thought she couldn't go to trials or hearings because she couldn't leave her medic medical fragile child. I may have that wrong, but that's what I was thinking. No, that's what she said. Still, I also remember hearing, could be a rumor, that she tried to go to a hearing once that only media was allowed to go. And the judge said that a YouTuber wasn't media when she argued she was media. Is that right? Yeah, you're right. If that all is true, then that means she once attempted to gain entry to a hearing that only media was allowed in for. Therefore, she wasn't allowed in. This means she could actually leave her fragile child after all because she attempted to go. Then when, then when she didn't go to other hearings, trials, or any court cases, she claimed she couldn't leave her medically fragile child, which doesn't match what she stated in other hearing that she attempted to go inside for. I, exactly, because she's a full-blown liar. So I'm very confused as to how she's going to go to this one. It must be public, I suppose, or maybe not. Maybe it's just for media, and she's planning on making a badge and going. <laughs> it's online. I just meant she wouldn't be involved in any way, or she will try to exploit it for her own gain. Yep. If memory serves, and that is saying a lot, so someone please correct me if I'm wrong. She got in trouble for that during the Josh Dogger trial. Yes, she did. I'm sure she can leave her son anytime she wants to. She just doesn't want to leave the internet. Absa effing lutely. All right, you guys, that's it for me for tonight. Sorry, I came in hot. I'm angry. I just want this bitch gone. I've had it, had it, had it enough already. She's now interfering with an investigation, telling people to contact her. That's not how this works. Interfering with the law, you get your handcuffs on. So I'll be sitting there happily waiting for when that happens and hope the hell that it comes soon because I have had enough of this girl. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great night. Happy Friday. And let me know what you think in the comment section.